Yeah, so here's the 500 watt halogen bulb I took out of my speed cook oven. You can see there's one end and you've got some black coating on the bulb glass there that you can see. So that end, I guess there's no filament in that part of the bulb. And here you can see the rest of the bulb. It's got that kind of purple metallic color. And there's the other end, some darkening there. And if we rotate this around, you can see right there, that's where the bulb failed. And that's the reason you do not touch halogen bulbs because you get the oil from your skin on that glass. It turns black right there. Black absorbs heat. This gets really hot, causes the quartz envelope to fail and then lets air in and then your tungsten filament goes up like a flash bulb. So that's exactly why that bulb failed. Right there is the point of failure. It's just worn right through. So that and there's a couple other spots you can actually feel where it's it's like the glass is chipped a little bit. It's got a rough feel to it. I'll put a quote right from the GE service manual that says do not touch the halogen heater when you put it in because you will shorten the life. So that's a good idea except you have to realize that this halogen bulb is about that far above sizzling cooking food <laughs> when, when it's in use. So anything you have that you're cooking in that oven is popping and splattering and grease and oil and water and whatever coming off the top of the food landing right on this thing. See in the profile there there's a good chunk of glass that's missing there. I guess the gra glass is just uh, heat fatigued and then cracked off. Yeah I can even feel like a powder on my fingers. That's the problem is once that area gets dark, that glass right there gets maybe several hundred degrees hotter than the glass over here. So you've got this heating and cooling going on. This gets hot, cools, heat cools, heat cools, and then over time that fatigues the glass right there and it starts to crack. Why they put an unprotected bulb essentially in the broiler <laughs> I mean, it's a, actually a very effective broiler element. They need to protect it. So I'm hoping my little glass heat shields will protect the bulb that I put in there. And it, it seems to work just fine. And I've checked the glass shields that I put in have a little bit of stuff stuck to them. They're no longer clear, shiny glass. They've got a little bit of, of material on there. Just hoping that the... Uh, they'll extend the life of this bulb because it's very hard to get to. There's a lot of work, several hours to get this out and get it back back together. So since this is such a long bulb, they have little support rings through here and looks like every one of those glass was discoloring in all those support areas. And then this middle one right there was the one that finally went first. But these other ones were all getting close. Spacing on those is about two centimeters. They have a spacer or a little support ring. So I guess the active part of that bulb. So you've got 140. Looks like another 60. So there's actually 200 millimeters of filament in that bulb from there to there. And then there's about 50 on either end that's just the support terminals and support part of it. So yeah, it's about a 200 millimeter active bulb. So anyway, I wanted to show you what that looked like. Hopefully my little fix will do the trick. I'll let you know. It might be 10 years before I find out if it works. It is functioning now. I just need to find out how long that bulb will last. It was a used bulb I put in, but I don't think it had been used very long. My guess is that other oven had this thing fail, 
thermal cutout that I showed in the last video, I'm guessing this failed. Somebody tested the oven out and said, oh, it's a total write-off, and so at least somebody took this upper heater assembly out and had the foresight to grab that and resell it on eBay and get 50 bucks for it. Yeah, if you have any uh, questions or comments on that, post up in the comment section below, and be sure to rate and share this video if you found it helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.